Rao, Alvin. Last day, Vicky. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I just recall that I forgot to to talk about menstruation pain just now. Ah, yeah. Okay. Huh? What pain? So I'll remember to put that in. Ah, uh. menstruation pain. Like. Oh. You know. Okay. We call it this menorrhea. Um, this menorrhea in females. Uh, I think a lot of uh, female will, will be more concerned with this menstruation pain. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh yeah. Huh? Uh yeah. Forgot to talk about the symptom of the uterus, also like fibroids, endometriosis that we can address in my Mandarin version. <laughs> okay. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but later, later. All right, now let's uh, remi <laughs> remember, remember to, to talk about the fibroid, endometriosis, and menstruation pain. Uh, this is what I, I need to remember. Um, okay, let's talk about the anatomy. Um, we are yeah. time's up, right? <laughs> Let me check it. Yeah, yeah. 45. All right. Okay, I have my toys here. Anatomy, pelvis, rectum. Okay, at the back, further back, uh, at the far back, back, close to the sacrum. Okay, this is the bone here. Right. And between for female, uterus. For male, no uterus. Yeah. So you have a big bladder and the rectum. Okay, so our bladder is in front. Close to the uh, pubis bone. So for for male, we when we address the pubis symphysis, we will address the prostate. Okay, so your males are uh, because for male structure, you don't have uterus. You have a uh, a bigger bladder. So when we touch the pubis symphysis, we will be able to to feel your prostate. Okay, now let's uh, look look at the anatomy and the ligament first. So when we when we work on the the pelvis organ, we will on, work on the ligamental system that support the bladder to the front, okay? And the uterus to the front and to the side, okay? The, there are many names of the ligament. We don't want to mention all the names. And uh, also, we will glide the rectum. The rectum, as the uh, you know, same with the ascending colon and descending colon, we cannot move the rectum side by side. You cannot. But when we manipulate, we are rotating the, the rectum in its place to free the adhesion from the surrounding tissues. All right? So to glide it so that the, the sacrum don't feel the compression from the organs. Yeah? So let's talk um, about what is the dysfunction that you can have with the pelvis organ. So... When, when we look at the uh, pelvis organ, when we look at do the, all the listening, we are feeling the tensions uh, and the gliding of the organs in, in this space. So like all other organs in the abdomen, the lung, um, we feel motility of the organs in the pelvis organ. So like for the bladder, they have to move up and down. For the uterus also, they must freely glide side to side, rotation in place, bladder as well. They need to glide up a little bit, side a little bit, uh, and they need to do a little bit of side bending as well. So when we check uh, all these organs, yeah, we check the gliding, uh, the bending in the in the space. So when when, when one side cannot glide, uh, it's always the uh, um, tension or fibrosis of the ligaments that holds the, the organs. So we'll let Alvin talk about the bladder dysfunctions when you have the ligament that is uh, tied in the yeah. bladder. What kind of symptom that you are looking at? So, I mean, uh, the bladder are actually, the bladder, the uterus, they are actually, how to say, they are supported by a lot of ligaments. If let's say you look at the anatomy of it, so many ligaments of it. And mm -hmm. the name also is quite long. <laughs> you know, some of them is... So the, this is the most important one from yeah. the front and the back. We will look at the two. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if we talk yeah. about the symptoms. Is uh, um, one of it is uh, incontinence. Okay, when because of the nerve, if let's say you have like the nerve damage, uh, like let's say you have this uh, Parkinson or maybe a diabetes, uh, multiple sclerosis. Okay, so you have like, this kind of neurologic uh, condition it can actually cause some incontinence uh, of your bladder, okay? That means you are not able to hold your pee inside, okay? And you may have this uh, involuntary uh, uh, that you need to go toilet, okay? But you are not able to hold it. 
and uh, also this uh, the the tone of the bladder okay will also reduce okay uh, so again it causes incontinence and uh, so if let's say we look at the the what you call this the muscle of it the lavender ni the pubococcygeus okay the pelvic floor muscles if let's say the muscle is not able to hold your bladder in place okay where it's supposed to pull how to say it, like put your hold hold your bladder up in place it will just collapse okay then it will compress onto your uh sorry actually the uterus will compress onto this uh, bladder and then the bladder will also will have a prolapse as well that's why sometimes people may have a uh, prolapse uterus prolapse uh, this kind of uh, issue and also because of the bladder bladder is also connected to your ure ureter so the ureter you may have a little bit pain at the abdomen side as well okay let's say there's an inflammation because of the um, retention okay the urine retention inside so they are not able to fully um, excrete out from your body so you have so, yes yes it will happen when when the we call it pubic vesicle ligament uh, that holds the the bladder is tight on either side so the bladder is uh, kind of rotated you will have the uh, uh, urine retention and you can't just can't clear your yep. urine effectively yep. and there's another ligament that we we need to mention is the the median ligament oh. okay uracles as well that attach yeah to the liver because the, the liver there's one ligament urethus goes from comes from the liver so when you address when you work on the bladder huh, for incontinence for the the we, we call it some uh, not stress content but people they cannot hold their urine or they always have this urge to go to the toilet every 10 minutes or every five minutes yeah? and then they pee a little bit only what is this symptom it could be the the bladder is hypersensitive due to the, some nerve innovation issues and it could be because of the erectus ligament that is tied from the liver so if the liver are, are rotating backward okay or very uh, whole, uh, stuck up against the diaphragm uh, this ligament will be tight as well or it become very fibrotic it will always pull the urethra open it open up the urethra all the time so when you have any urine in the bladder you will feel that the urge to go to the toilet though it is not full yep. all right so when we work on the bladder, we check all this ligament system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yes. I think. And the bladder condition can be caused by the the uh, position of the uh, yes. uterus. So let's let's talk about uterus now. So uterus, there are there are ligament that holds the uterus to the front, right? The round ligament, okay, hold it in, anteriorly through the inguinal canal and down the pubis. This is all. So some some. Uh, female, they, you might feel that uh, this part is very tender because the ligament is tight. So when we do the uh, uterus gliding, we are checking this ligament as well. So when this ligament bilaterally, they are very, very tight. It brings it, it you see, yeah, it's, it fits the uterus anteriorly and it compresses on your bladder. So you also have, have a structure from the top that compresses on the bladder which, which causes the, some of the incontinence. Yeah, that's true. Especially, yeah. it'll be and, um, quite yes. tight, especially during the pregnancy, right? Yes, if we, yeah, then you may you may find that you have a pubic uh, uh, the synthesis problem, right? Uh, yes, and um, the ligament. Okay, sorry, the ligament that holds the uh, uterus to the side. See the broad ligament that attach the uterus to the side of the uh, pubis here, the iliac here. It can be also tied on either side and rotated the, uh, we call it rotate the uterus sideways. So when this happens, so it, it may cause some um, uh, uncomfortable, okay, uh, during some activities, yeah. all right? Some you have, uh, yes, as well. so when, when the uterus, instead of staying here, it becomes rotated, uh, or it becomes retrovert, okay, retrograde. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, yeah, yes. Retroversions uh, uh, um, uh, yeah. uterus, okay? It can also cause a lot of discomfort uh, during the sexual activity, mm -hmm. all yeah. right? So I, I encounter a few uh, ladies who has this problem because when we, have, when we check, when we glide our hands along the surface of the, the bladder, we can't find the uterus. Mm -hmm. So the uterus is either retro, retro or they are sideways. So we can't find that. 
and it is a uh, greatly affect uh, the fertility. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's why some yes. some ladies are so, not able to uh, conceive babies after so many years of trying. You know, maybe because of uh, this. So that infertility is one of the symptoms that we may get from the uterus part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And also, um, when when the uterus are going backward, it can also compress on the rectum and cause constipations. Yeah. Okay. So the symptom of a pelvis organs dysfunction can be quite general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They mostly they they uh, affect back, back pain. Yeah. L, yes, L one to uh, L L one onwards. Huh? They can even affect up to T7 because of the connections with the kidney and the nerve that innervate um, the um, pelvis organ as well. So um, not only that they have the low back pain, they also have uh, pain. Okay. Uh, sciatic. sciatic. Yes. Yeah, you, you talk yeah, about. I mean, uh, so if like I think in the intestine part that like you were talking about the cecum, okay, and also the mm. cecum, uh, there's a ligaments of clayet. Okay, again, it will cause right knee pain, especially on the right side, actually. Uh, yeah, I mean, it will cause knee pain. Yeah, right side, right yeah, side. Because of the cecum. So, uh, and then, of course, like, we're talking about this uh, sciatic pain as well because of the sacral plexus, this, uh, a lot of plexus, a lot of nerves coming out from, from this uh, pelvic, okay, at the area. Okay, yeah, so you can see that the behind the spine there. So, of course, you may experience uh, lower, lower back pain and then down to your, to your legs as well, the sciatic pain as well. So, you can see, I mean, uh, uh, most of them, they are, again, they are quite similar, but the cause of it is, there are so many causes. It's yeah, different. different. You know, so that's why we need to... And here... Um, Correct, correct. And then we, we, uh, when you talk about the back pain and also sacral dysfunction, we can also talk about this ligament, pubo, vesico, utero, recto, sacral ligament. Yeah. All right, that is the ligament from, we name them from the pubis all the way to the, the back to the, uh, uh, here, to the sacral. Yeah. So that's why the name is very long. Yeah. But if you look at the anatomy, you know how to name them. So this, this uh, ligament, they have uh, uh, right and left side. They, their, their function is to hold the pelvis organ in the middle of the body. Yep. All right. So if imagine if one side is tight, right, due to some operations or some dysfunction, uh, you imagine the sacral bone might be tilted to the tension side. So when you do the, we, we use, uh, we'll try to do the sacral palpation, the push uh, on the sacral to feel the, the compression and decompression, then you, we know so which structure, which ligament that is pulling on the sacral yep. bone? So when imagine the sacral bone is tilted, it will cause tensions of the uh, sacral plexus, yep. the sciatic nerve that comes up from the uh, sacral bone. Yep. That's why you have a lot of this uh, um, sciatic symptom or low back pain symptom, yes. and the nerve innervations to the pelvis floor also get affected. Yep, that's true. So I mean that's why sometimes we have this mm. pain, and then people thought like it's a normal, but it's actually. Uh, or maybe like a low back pain, okay? We thought it's just from the lower back, but it's not. It's actually coming from the inside. Like we were saying that uh, when we do this uh, sacral compression, decompression, it can also, besides from the uh, organs itself, maybe it also indicates uh, mm. that the sacrum itself that's having some dysfunction. So uh, it's a test for us to know whether is it a joint dysfunction, that means your sacrum, okay? Is it too stiff okay like sometimes maybe one person like to sit on one side okay where they like to sit on one side and then uh, a lot of tension being built on that particular sacrum okay so it caused all this one side to become so stiff and then it may also affect the inner organs as well so that's why we need to release the ligament yes Yes, the uh, uh, sacro tuberous, yeah. sacro spinous ligaments as well, uh, you know, will be also uh, affected as well. So it's, we are not just treating organs, and then we also treat like um, the, the, the joint dysfunction as well. There are so many things for us to check, you know, because the symptoms can be quite. But you. 
similar to me, quite si uh, simple. And then, and then this this function, it, it not only that it, it start from the the what's it, internal organ. It, imagine when you have a weak clash uh, when we took when you uh, join the NM one, you know that the weak clash doesn't just affect the uh, cervical, doesn't just affect the neck. It affects all the way from the head, the cranial, the, the brain are being shuttled inside of the skull. And it affects the spinal cord, it affects the tentorium, it affects the cervical spine all the way down to the to the coccyx. Yeah. Alright, the sacral coccyx. So when the when the coccyx bone here, they, they are stuck, they are uh, very high tension, there's a last one pair of the nerve which innervate the pelvis organ. You see, not only this this nerve, of course the sacral plexus that innervate the pelvis organ. When the nerves are affected, the organs health also will be affected. Yeah. Right? So the gliding, the the, uh, the hormonal hormonal Heart. issues yeah. can be affected as well. So when we talk about weak flesh, yes. When we deal with the uh, urogenital organs in the female, all right, we, we have to deal with a lot of hormonal issues. So in the NM1, we, we were like, you know, we were like taught, taught how to address the facial, uh, cranial facial junctions where it compresses on your pituitary gland, right? So you have to free up this space to address hormonal issues that affect the, the, the uterus. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it is not, it's not a simple thing you know, to just work on the pelvis. Yeah. Uh, and the thyroid gland, also the, the stellar ganglion at the cervical region, is also affecting the hormonal level in our, our pelvis organ. Mm -hmm. So that is why uh, as a, a visceral manipulation therapist, you don't only look at the organs yeah. or don't look at the bone as well. You have to look at the nervous yes. system. Yeah, mm. There's so many things to look at. <laughs> Yeah, so and then we, we look at the, the ligament here, the sacral uh, tuberosity and sacral spinal. This is where the sciatic nerve are crossing. Mm -hmm. So imagine when you have a tight uh, tension in, in the uh, this ligament, what does it work, do on the yeah. nerve? It pinch on the nerve, right? It's, yeah, it's like a yeah. it's like right. top stick, pinch on the nerve. Yes. So when you, we, you address sciatic nerve, you also have to check on this uh, ligament. as well, that's true. A very interesting yeah, it's true. Huh? Okay, very interesting thing is the uh, uh, men's health. We, we, we keep talking about the yeah. female's yeah. health, but the men's prostate. Yep. So, how important is your prostate? <laughs> very. You ask you 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 are yes you are entering uh thirty year. How how many men here? Uh, like in our yeah. group, especially so your maybe men, can, maybe can earth. just write um uh, a man or male. Okay, M M. Or, right. or if you are yeah. yeah. Or if you're married, you, you have a, a man in your family, you're concerned, then you let me know. I'll, I'll talk about man. If not, then we will skip about the prostate. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, should I talk about the prostate? No. What? How? Huh? Should I talk about the prostate? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Prostate, prostate, very important. It is, it is. Very important. Yes, yes. Well, I, I love prostate. Yeah, especially for guys. Because uh, prostate cancer is actually one of the very common um, uh, disease or disorder. Uh, that experienced by men, okay. Uh, if let's say you're a man, okay, you guys have to be, you know, have to really take care, uh, because one of the symptoms, because the prostate will enlarge, okay. Uh, maybe Evelyn can show the 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 pelvis. Yes. So, the prostate <clears throat> will be enlarged, and then it will also compress onto your bladder as well. Yeah. Yeah, so when it compresses onto your bladder, it's same like the uterus, okay? You may have difficulty of going toilet, okay? Like you go to toilet and then you have to wait for a while and to wait it to come come to you, you know, when, when it's uh, having this uh, enlargement. So we call it a BPH, uh, benign prosthetic uh, hypertrophy, okay? So we have to get ourselves regular checkup, you know, just to... Uh, make sure that we are healthy, okay? And uh, besides from that, um, and, and yeah, I mean, besides, I mean, the, after the enlargement, it can cause the bladder, okay? The bladder will become weakened, okay? Then again, you lose the ability to push it up, you know, to, to pee it up, mm -hmm. yes. So that's another symptom. Besides, yeah. Because it's, it's how this, I would say it's a, like a chain reaction, it's a cycle, okay? When the prostate is enlarged and then it compresses onto your bladder, okay, so you have this pain and also this uh, bladder 
uh, dysfunction. Okay, so it's a chain reaction. It's not just once one organ, one structure is affected, and then the others doesn't get affected. You will have a maybe a multiple symptoms at one time. You know, yeah. Do you know? Do you want to know how how we address the prostate problem? Maybe we want to share. We... <laughs> and <laughs> so I've seen few guys with uh, prostate issues, and uh, uh, one uh, with uh, we call it um uh. Uh, inflammation in the prostate. We call it prostate prostate. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, it's inflammation. I can't, I can't remember. That's the name. Right. It's inflammation of the prostate. Yes, yes. The race. Uh, 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 uh yeah. Have blood test and he has uh, these uh, um, numbers that, that mm -hmm. uh, close to um uh, cancerous, right? So uh, what what do we do when we, we when we will look at the prostate? We look at the blood flow at the inguinal ring. Yeah, uh, that uh, from at the inguinal ring side, uh, we will check the pulse here, and the pulse is the external and internal. Uh, uh, this internal, this external. We we'll check the pulse rate. Okay, we see whether the blood flow are affected. And another thing we need to check is always check the sacral tuberous uh, ligament and the uh, 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 sacral splenous ligament, because when these two ligaments are are tense, are tight, they affect the Pelvis or uh, uh, pelvis uh, muscles, right? With perineal, all, all the muscles here, they become very tight and tense. And one pudendal nerve that innervate the muscles, we have to check uh, the nerve region, the blood flow region into this one. So imagine, okay, now uh, for female, we need to tighten the muscles, right? To have a good pelvis uh, uh, tone for, to prevent the prolapse. But for male, it's reversed. Yeah. You need flexibility. If not, you see, imagine this is a, a floor where your prostate are sitting. If these muscles are very tight and always uh, tense, your prostate are sitting on the concrete floor. So the irritation come from externally, and they don't have. You can't you can't stop the prostate from becoming enlarged because it's a nature, yeah. right? So if uh, the surrounding area are so tight, they cannot expand externally. What they do? Internally, they, they grow towards internally and compress your urethra. Mm. So that's why you have more symptoms like uh, uh, difficulty peeing, yep. or dripping issues, or unable to control. Yep. So that's why for men, I always emphasize loosening the muscles, loosening the ligament, check the blood flow, and um, improve the motility. We always talk about motility. Yes. Every organ has to have their movement. So that is my protocol for, for treating a prostate. Okay. And also, uh, don't forget to look at the left kidney. It's always connected. It's always affecting the uh, the left uh, urogenital organs. And for female, I always uh, find they have lesions on the left side of the ovary. Even the lymphatic flow is so weaker on the left side. They have an abnormal flow on the left ovary. Um, venous congestions and rotator. If not because of the operation, yeah, some they have tendency to uh, to fix more on the lateral and posterior because of the cervix uh, uh, um, uh, positions. So these positions are always slightly more to the mm -hmm. left. Okay. That is the yeah, that is the no. No, nature, right? Um, do you have uh, any any cases of uh, prostate uh, that you see? I I, I don't think I have any one currently. Okay, that I'm seeing for the prostate. Uh, but there was one lady uh, was having this, I think she was doing this, uh, what do you call this, uh, caesarean, okay? But I mean, it's actually nothing related to uh, uterus or, Thank you. but it's more to the cecum side actually, because that's a, that's a how to say, a, a surgery because of the, uh, on, on, after the caesarean. Yeah, so when I was treating her, I was like feeling something towards on the right side, but I, I didn't know that. And then she never tell me that uh, she got a caesarean actually. So I feel something was there and then I'll try to um, mean, try, ask her to, you know, expose a little bit so that I can treat on it. And then I was like, oh, okay, that's uh, actually a surgery incision site, you know? you know. So I was asking, oh, what, what actually happened? Uh, oh, it's actually a caesarean. Then only I know, okay, maybe it's just the, uh, the surgery that's causing all these uh, adhesions uh, because that time she was having knee pain that time 
uh, and also of back mm. pain as well. So that's why I was like, oh, okay, now is uh, how to say, I have a clearer picture. Okay, although it is not the bladder and uterus that we were talking about, but it's uh, the previous topic that we were discussing, the cecum. Um, yeah. Cecum. Yes. So. And I, I have two cases that I really want to share here is about my client who, a uh, female client mostly because they only female has uterus. <laughs> okay, I have one uh, lady, uh, um, uh, fallen lady who came to me for a uh, severe backache. Uh, they, it can't be fixed by normal physio because her physio refer her to me. Okay, so when I do the listening, it brought me all the way down to the right uh, uh, abdomen. Okay, the right abdomen. And we check, okay, it's the cesarean, of course, uh, also a cesarean scar that really tilt the uterus to the right side. So the, the scar pull her uterus to the right side. And when I flip her over, I also find a lesion at the coccyx bone. So we have to mention about coccyx bone because coccyx bone plays a, a big part in uh, low back pain, a ring type low back pain around the L4, L5 region. So uh, when I check the coccyx bone, I always ask whether they have headache. And this lady uh, uh, say that she has chronic headache for about two years after the cesarean. Uh, it's just don't, don't know why. So, uh, as usual, we fix the, the, the guiding, we reposition the uterus, work on the uh, uh, coccyx bone, and one week later, all her symptoms gone. So, no more back pain, uh, no more deep abdominal tension, and no more headache. All right? And another uh, lady, also the same thing with cesarean scar, uh, that causes infertility. Because she, after the first baby, for four years, they have been trying to conceive another baby, but unsuccessful. Though that the both couples are normal, but they, they just can't conceive. Uh, but she see me for back pain. Uh, I didn't address the infertility issue. That's okay. Um, you, you, your your main complaint is uh, back pain. So we fix same thing. The listening goes to the uterus. Okay, we fix the uterus, and that's all. She only see me for one session. Came back nine months later, pregnant with the twins. And now she's already delivered to a twins but baby. Okay, more. so that is a, a very successful story. Of yes, yes, it's very thrilling to, to hear her, her feedback. Um, yeah, it's a real case. Uh, not only that, my friends who practices in Sydney also claim that they, he successfully helps few uh, ladies uh, to conceive naturally. You know why? Um, when when Sean Barrow talk about infertility, he always talk about uh, um, mechanical issues. If the fertility, uh, infertility is due to mechanical uh, tensions or uh, um, the blood flow issues, you know, or the position of the uterus, we can always help. We can always help, uh, like if lady even for fibroid, endometriosis, menstruation pain, because some of the uh, symptoms are, are uh, caused by all the ligamental system. Uh, in a bit, uh, unable to glide properly, you know, the interests are fixed, or uh, even the blood flow, the nerve system, the lymphatic system, these are what we can uh, address, yeah, what we can help uh, the, the females. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, I mean, for guys, it's, uh, I think one thing, uh, if let's say we talk about from the male perspective is, of course, uh, erections, Okay, if let's say the compression of the prostates, you know, are not able to make sure there's a good blood flow, okay, to your penis, then of course you may have erectile dysfunction, okay. Uh, the dorsal, dorsal vein or dorsal artery, they are not able to transmit the blood, okay, to the part for, for the erections part. So, yeah, I mean, maybe you want to talk about it. I mean, have you experienced any erectile dysfunction? Um, uh, I, I do have a guy who, who complained that uh, have erectile dysfunction. Okay. But the listening, we all, well, I, I, I don't have the a, a listening to the, we can't have listening to the yep. penis. <laughs> all right, I, but I check the blood flow. Okay, I check the blood flow of the external and internal uh, uh, guinal side. And uh, of course, there's one side that is uh, weaker. Mm -hmm. But I do have a case uh, uh, that changed. My friend in Sydney shared with me. He, he said he was referred a guy. Uh, a guy was referred to him for uh, prolonged erections. Okay. For two hours, oh, oh. the penis cannot prolong. Prolong cannot reaction. That's prolonged too much. Yes, because the the venous flow was blocked. Oh. All right, so it it stay as hard. Okay. And you know it is going to be necrosis. Yeah. It it stay longer. You no, know, it, it's okay. So. 
then what what he worked he worked on the on the lymph flow he worked on the venous flow at the ingredient side oh. and he can see the the penis softer so you, there's always a blood flow issues that when you talk about the erections or even prolonged erections you can help by doing some manual on the uh, blood vessels so that is uh, the case that he shared with me and I'm, I'm glad to uh, to have listened to yeah, that. I, I think I so, think guys are mainly concerned about this you know about uh, erectile dysfunction okay we want to uh, I think most of us want us uh, want our body to be healthy okay uh, Healthy, as normal as possible, you know. But uh, due to our sedentary lifestyle, our maybe uh, we drink alcohol, you know. Uh, some of us maybe mm. smoking, you know. So all this can actually affect uh, the health of the body of the organs as well, and they are not able to properly. Uh, uh, how to say that the it's not mobile enough, okay? Or maybe because of due mm. to our previous. Uh, injuries or surgeries, you know, that we thought like is, you know, is done. But yeah, so so all these kind of uh, incidents can actually cause us cause us all these uh, yeah dysfunctions. I would say, you know. Mm -hmm. So so all in all, we will say that okay, um, the symptom of the pelvis organ dysfunction can cause a uh, low back pain. All right, sciatic yep. pain. Uh, and of course, the uh, pelvic floor uh, muscles pain and spasm, incontinence, all right, urinary uh, retention also, yep. and also infertility, uh, fibroid, endometriosis, um, uh, even the ovary, okay, that is dysfunction. We all can also help by doing some, uh, uh, um, we should call it uh, blood flow, uh, and so free up the ligaments, glide the uh, organs properly, and also constipation if it's uh, due to the uh, fixations of the rectum, all right, we can also address that. Uh, and this pain can, uh, if there's a um, pain uh, that involves the coccyx bone, the pain can radiate all the way up to the cranial, so you may have a tension headache. And also at the T7 uh, level, they okay, meet, uh, we call it mid-thoracic yeah. pain. So these are all the uh, symptoms. Maybe you may not be able to understand yep. because it can be uh, the pain from the diaphragm, it can be the pain from the pancreas, uh, from the spleen as well. So um, I guess uh, as a man, uh, manual therapist, as a visual manipulation therapist, we will be able to uh, find the root cause. Mm. Yep. Mm. And we don't treat the symptom, okay? And today, uh, uh, today we are going to wrap up uh, all, all this yeah. series. Maybe we can... Uh, we, we talk uh, a lot about our treatment uh, uh, principles. So what we, we do in the clinic is that when you come to us, we don't ask you for your history immediately. We do assessment accordingly. We, we, we do uh, uh, GL, LL. If we are at the VFI, we do manual thermal evaluations. We do the ranging uh, uh, assessment. And then we will ask you for your, uh, for your history. So that is the, the, the way. If you are if you have a chance to see us, maybe we will ask you not to talk until we find the root cause. Yeah. Then we will uh, then we will um, talk about the your concern and your history and find out everything that relate to the assessment. Yeah, because uh, this is actually the reason why we are not uh, how to say doing the assessment first is actually to uh, prevent the bias. Okay, because sometimes we. After you telling us that, oh, I have right shoulder pain. So when we do the assessment, maybe we are a little bit more biased towards your right shoulder pain, maybe. And also that's why we normally, we, we want to uh, do the listening first. Stay neutral. Yeah, stay neutral first, yeah. okay. And then only we will ask you the questions. You know, it's not like, oh, we are not, uh, what, some magical bomb or, you know, those kind of things. Yes. Yes, yes. Because of when we feel your your cranial, we are feeling the body uh, tension. It's like uh, every uh, every time I will tell my client, body hug the lesion. So whenever there is pain, you always want to rotate to that yeah. side, and that is how your body are adapting. Yeah. So you may have a few uh, adaptations, you know, but then we are we are always we always pick up the strongest uh, adaptation first on this uh, particular day on the time that you see us. Maybe you need to see us for a few more sessions until everything is settled, layers after layers. Until you find the first root cause that created all this adaptation, a chain of lesions. We call it lesional change. So um, that's our principle of, uh, 
of uh, this through manipulation uh, technique yeah uh, yeah questions yes. you can and, any... okay and uh, thank you for uh, staying with us for these uh, whole seven days okay see you well, seven. yeah yeah i hope you guys are something uh, okay and uh, understand more about your body your organs and how actually it relates to your pain or you know or maybe some dysfunction that you guys are having uh if let's say you guys have any questions you know uh can always reach us out on uh, instagram okay uh vl therapy underscore wellness or myself alvin lim underscore performance video okay you can follow us on instagram and yeah you guys have any questions no questions today yeah okay, no question then i i have a i because this is the last session i have an offer for for people who listen to to our uh, talk uh during this mco during this mco uh uh period if you uh guys make appointment to see us you know like uh or do one online assessment first then we see whether we you need a, a manual session with us then if you see us after the mco i'll give you 20 percent discount for your first visit okay yep. So, Alvin. Yeah. Bye bye. Uh, yeah, I mean, if let's say, guys. Okay. You guys want any like sequel of the next topic or top any topics that you guys are interested can always let us know, and then we try to uh, you know uh, do again uh, on IG live, and yeah, you know, mm. if let's say, guys. I would I would love to do one uh, live assessment online ah, assessment. Okay. If anyone ah. of you are <laughs> interested, I. Yes, yes, I am uh, uh, doing this uh, online assessment and I can, in fact, I have been practicing during this entire yep. three weeks. Um, it is close to 100% accuracy. If you want, um, talk to me. We will do online assessment. And I'll tell you all your problem, problem all your symptoms. Yeah. And yeah, and then you see whether yeah, it's I, right I think or not. It, uh, he was writing, <laughs> pick me. <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah. I mean, sure, no problem. We will, we will um, what, do one uh, session with you. Yeah. Yeah? Just three of us. Okay. <laughs> or oh, two of us, two of us. We, we, can't, we can't do Zoom. Ah, so yeah, it's yeah, three, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, two and a uh, yeah. Instagram live. Uh, yeah? Can. As for Frog. I mean, sure. my, my friend, uh, yeah. Your friend, can you? Yeah. Um, you, we can do a Zoom. If it's your friend, right, we do a Zoom. And then um, I'll, I'll we do one uh, free assessment. Sure. It's, it's very fun to do to do it yeah. online. Uh, I do it uh, with my client, uh, taking picture front and back, and, um, and I feedback to them. It was amazing. They, I even uh, do it with uh, a person in Penang, okay, that I've never seen. I don't, I'm not sure she, whether she's here. Uh, and Peggy, hello, all this. To, to test out uh, the the result yeah, that's true. i think i think it's yeah. good. okay good uh we will <laughs> we will we'll do one session uh anyone who, who who wants to have the sessions can uh um yeah it doesn't matter we can do a zoom yeah. uh and just do assessment okay no problem yeah bye bye you guys oh hazila hazila we are ending let me can uh, see the, uh, the replay uh we will share it in the in the facebook as well very okay. Few, uh, yes, yeah. 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 yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. See you. Thank you.